Hey there, Jeff Manchester here from Universal Audio. And today I'm excited to introduce you to Topline Vocal Suite. But before we go any further, if you wanna get a free trial and follow along, just head to the link in the description. So anyone who's ever mixed a vocal knows it's often the hardest track element to mix. So getting it right can be the difference between people connecting with your song and people tuning out. The good news is that Topline Vocal Suite gives you all the tools that you need to easily record and mix flawless vocals in any genre. It's a comprehensive processor that offers advanced vocal pitch correction, an analog channel strip with compression, gate, de and EQ, plus classic reverb, tape delay, and modulation, all in a sleek, user-friendly design with over 150 presets, some of which were developed by top mixing pros who've helped shape vocals on the top 40 charts for years. So let's dig into how to make the most of Topline Vocal Suite across a number of vocals from different genres. So first, let's get a taste of Topline Vocal Suite across a couple of those genres. Yeah, I took the one-way train and I'm not coming back. Not sleeping at all. Feel the moonlight pulling me close to the sea. I keep tripping and stumbling into the night to the fall. I'ma just hop in the earth. I'ma be riding my zone. I'ma just hop on a flight. You better leave me alone. You have been acting shady. I heard everything you said. I won't waste my time. That's why I left you in red. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry for the drama I can't help it all the people that have been You kiss me once and call it karma I can't help it all I wanna do is win When we fight Now, broadly speaking, Topline Vocal Suite is divided into three sections. You've got tuning and pitch, a channel strip with analog dynamics and EQ, and then time-based effects with classic modulation, delay, and reverb. Now, the layout is intentional. First, you tune your vocals to perfection or creatively pitch shift them. If you don't know the key of your vocal, you can use Topline Key Finder. This is a tool that can detect the key of any track and shuttle that information into Topline Vocal Suite's tuner module. Then move on to warming up your vocals, controlling sibilance and dynamic range, and sweetening them with EQ and air. And finally, send them into orbit with time-based effects like chorus, flanging, widening, and multiple flavors of studio-grade delay and reverb. I should also note that you can configure Topline Vocal Suite to work on live vocals while recording by switching to live mode. This mode minimizes internal latency, but it's still subject to your DAW's buffer size, so you should reduce your DAW's buffer when tracking for the lowest possible latency. As we go deeper into the sections, you'll notice that we have a lot of control over how the sound is processed, like being able to change the order of the EQ and compressor, or feeding the reverb signal into the delay, or not. Using handy filters to higher low pass the effect of certain modules on the dry signal, or the ability to duck reverb and delay effects when the dry signal is present, and so much more. In this way, Topline Vocal Suite is both super accessible but also deep and tweakable to get the sound that you're after. Input and output controls flank the UI on the left and right, and in between them you've got the preset browser. And finally, to the top right you'll see the global bypass button. As we go through these sections more closely, you'll notice these big knobs on the bottom and smaller circles on the top along with other controls. Everything in Topline Vocal Suite has been deeply thought through to make it as easy and quick as possible to get you incredible vocals. Let's get started with the pop track. In this song, we've got soft, breathy female vocals contrasted with big, glossy, retro, futuristic 80s synth tones. Let's take another listen to get acquainted with this track.
top line vocal suite is firing on all cylinders to bring this vocal to life, but what I want to call special attention to are a few controls that are really contributing to this dreamy, clear sound in the analog channel strip section of the plugin, where you can add tone and character using preamp, saturation, dynamics, and EQ controls. Topline Vocal Suite includes a graphic EQ module with preset nodes that are targeted across frequencies of importance specifically to vocals. Just hover your mouse over the graphic EQ area to control the bands. You can also use EQ types to quickly configure the focus of the EQ. In this case, we're using Brilliant. But the feature I really want to zero in on is nested just beside the low and high controls, and it's called Air. While it's just one knob that goes clockwise, the sonic difference it imparts on the vocal is pretty significant. Let's have a listen to it before and after, in solo, and then in the mix. I'm missing every party Even though I hate to be alone I'm on a planet with nobody Now what Air is doing is adding high-end sparkle by way of a legendary studio technique that's heard on countless records. You can adjust the air knob in your own recordings to create an airy, hyped multiband expansion sound often applied to vocal tracks in big studios. The other control I want to call your attention to is the de-esser. Now traditionally de-esser plugins have been tough to control and dial in, but in Topline Vocal Suite, all you have to worry about is one slider. You can use the solo feature to make sure your slider is in the right place, and then just set it and forget it. In this example, the slider is all the way down, and we're gently suppressing strident S sounds you can hear in the words kiss and once. Pay special attention to those words in the before and after example. You kiss me once and call it karma. You kiss me once and call it karma. Now there's a lot more to talk about in this plugin, so let's move on to some other examples. But before we do that, let's hear a big before and after of this vocal with and without top line vocal suite. I'm missing every party. Even though I hate to be low. I'm on a planet with nobody. I like it better with the devil that I know. Okay, let's move on to a hip hop vocal. In this track, our vocalist oscillates between smooth melodies and staccato rapped verses. Over the top tuned harmonies really enhance the emotive quality, giving the vocals a dreamlike feel. The use of reverb and echo also adds depth, making the listener feel enveloped in the sound. Take a listen. So let's dig into how Top Line Vocal Suite achieved these sounds. The main star of the show in this example is undoubtedly the tuner module. It's here in the first set of modules when you open up the plugin, and the controls are really, really simple. Now the tuner can automatically correct the pitch of your vocals with results ranging from transparent to pitch perfect, even robotic to suit any genre of music. As I mentioned at the top of this video, if you don't know the key of your track, you can use the top line key finder to learn the key from the track and then press the send key to shuttle the information to top line vocal suite so everything stays in key. Speed controls how quickly the note is corrected and depth controls the strength of the correction. As you can see, both controls here are pushed all the way to the most intense position because we're going for a very heavily tuned effect. 
Let's just hear the module on and off, soloed, and then in the mix. I'ma just hop in the earth. I'ma be right in my zone. I'ma just hop on the flight. You better leave me alone. You have been acting shady, I heard everything you said. I won't waste my time, that's why I left you a red. Yeah, yeah. I'ma just hop in the earth. I'ma be right in my zone. I'ma just hop on the flight. You better leave me alone. You have been acting shady, I heard everything you said. I won't waste my time, that's why I left you a red. Yeah, yeah. Don't we hate the same, cause I got some diamond rings. I got diamond rings. I just got my jewelry, cause I like to find a thing. In other parts of the vocal mix, the shift module is really helping to get us that cartoonish chipmunk sound that we hear in a lot of hip hop hooks and ad libs. You can see here in the chorus vocals that the formant control is set to plus two. A vocal formant is a kind of resonance that results from the length and shape of the vocal cords and nasal cavities. Adjusting the formant can change the character of a voice to sound like it comes from a much smaller or much bigger source than the original vocalist. Here, we're altering the formant a little to add energy and zing, if you will, to the chorus. Take a listen with and without. Rings, I got diamond rings. I just got my jeweler cause I like the finer things. Two tone AC plus down just to let my Cuban link. I just got the, got my Cuban link. Now, just as we did before, let's do a big before and after of all the vocal processing by turning top line vocal suite on and off. Rings, I got diamond rings. I just got my jeweler cause I like the finer things. Two tone AP bust down just to match my Cuban link. I just got that, got my Cuban link. I'ma just have a name. In this final mix, we have a rock track with a vocal tone that's incredibly warm and inviting with a smooth, almost velvety quality that exudes vulnerability. There's a natural richness to the voice, which is further enhanced by time-based effects like reverb and delay and other modulation. Let's take a listen with those qualities in mind. Yeah, I took the one-way train and I'm not coming back. Okay, so let's take a quick look at some of the settings across top line vocal suite that's helping to get us a rich vocal tone. Now, the first thing to notice is that we're using the tuner with a much more conservative setting at the speed and depth level. The singer delivered a great performance, but it's always nice to throw the tuner on just for safety. The real heavy hitter here is actually the time-based effects section of top line vocal suite. Now, as you can see from this page, we have modulation, delay, and reverb engaged. And to be specific, we're using a flanger, digital delay, and a room setting on the reverb with special care to keep low end from entering both the reverb and delay by high passing using the built-in handy filters. There's actually another crucial parameter engaged here that's really helping to keep the vocals clear and intelligible, FX duck. When you turn this knob to the right, you can adjust the amount of ducking, which decreases the level of delay and reverb while your vocalist sings. You get a gentle or extreme suppression of those two effects whenever that vocal signal is present. This gives you the best of both worlds, a clear, discernible vocal that's supported just the right amount by reverb and delay between the phrases. So let's hear a few examples of this feature turned off and on. And just notice that when I bypass FX duck, the vocal gets muddy and almost drowned out by the reverb and delay, and it becomes hard to connect emotionally with that vocal. When I engage FX duck, the vocal takes center stage and the effects gently support the vocals from all around. Take a listen. Yeah, I took the one way train and I'm not coming back. Not sleeping at all Feeling the moonlight pulling me close to the sea I keep tripping and stumbling until the night to fall You keep pulling on me Yeah, you keep pulling on me Yeah 
Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of Topline Vocal Suite, and you can see just how quick and easy it is to get incredible professional vocal sounds with little to no tweaking of the plugin. As always, please leave questions and comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.